You were very, very exhausted this afternoon and you did a, a hell of a live show. Where did you find the strength to do this? Uh, I don't know. It's... Um, after the second song, uh, Blasphemer was just screaming at me and um, everything was okay. Uh, I had an adrenaline kick from a black hole in space. How long do you think you're going to survive a tour like this? Well, if I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to have to go on tours like this again, I don't know. Um, but um, because the tour in the States was great. The bus was excellent. And it was just a few people, air conditioner, everything. But on this tour, it was like fucking hell. But still, was it any... Was it important for them to do this tour? Yes, of course. The, 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 the old fans who are here to judge you as a replacement for the legendary dead, blah, blah, blah. Did they get something for their money? I think so. I think so, definitely. Because um, a lot of the fans have been really into it. And uh, I think I've done a good job on this tour. Can you show your arm a bit to the camera? <laughs> this arm? Barbed wire is uh, nice for your body. What, what is leading you to do this? I've heard that during the tour as well, you in the tour bus cut the arm of a girl who asked for it. What's with auto mutilation on stage? Is it just Marilyn Manson night or that's something deeper than just entertaining? It keeps me alive. It brings me closer to life. If I didn't do it, if I didn't feel all the pain, I would have been dead for many years ago. Talking about this and suicide, I know that's uh, a subject you've been close to a couple of times, and that also your uh, brain in mayhem, you're bringing mayhem to new philosophical hype and a lot of things. Do you think metal freaks get this, all you're talking about? Don't you feel like you're like talking to brain this kid sometime? Yeah, sometimes I do, but um, I don't know. If I can get the message out to a few people, then I'm satisfied. Just a few people who can get the message. Because, um, I don't know, this is very important for me and I want to bring it out. But a lot of people doesn't get it, of course they don't. So intellectual and metal can go along together? I think so. I think so, really. And uh, Grand Decoration of War, the first part was good lyrics, and the second part you went cryptic again. You're going to be more cryptic because you go further in your study, or are you going to get back to reality next time? No, um, I've already written uh, two lyrics for the next Mayhem album, and um, at least one of them is extremely cryptic. Uh, and the other one is straight in the face, but, um, or I don't know, maybe not straight in the face, but it's going to be a very ugly album. So I have to write some shorter lyrics and uh, uh, it's going to be, yeah, very fucking cryptic. All right. Um Moving on to another subject, um, Mania, the future, still on the ground, a bigger band, opening for bigger bands, or still being like the elite, the elite of black metal, even if few people understand you, even if you have to disappoint your fans. Um, I'm not really sure about it because uh, we might do a tour in the States with the bigger brand. You know which one? No. Well, actually, I do, but I won't tell you. Uh, so I don't know, but we always want to headline, you know. We are very serious about the headlining because um, opening up for someone is hell. It's you get bad sound, you get all the shit, and we don't really want to do it. Last question: Do you think? your lyrics that you're being understood or that you will be later 
I think maybe some of my lyrics will be understood in a hundred years from now. <laughs>